Still without an away win all season. They're still in trouble near the foot of the table, but they put up quite a fight at Elland Road. The closest leads came during the first half. Gary Speed's header over the crossbar. And in fact, Luton could easily have been ahead at half-time. Mark Pembridge shooting just wide from the edge of the area. But that proved to be a timely warning for Leeds, who looked far more menacing after the break. Eric Cantona, the Frenchman who came on as substitute, lobbing the ball over the crossbar. They perhaps feel he should have done better. But it looked as though it might not be Leeds' day. Rod Wallace working himself an opening with the help of a miss kick from fullback Julian James and then crashing the ball against the crossbar. And then with 59 minutes gone, the breakthrough for Leeds. Much of the credit goes to Gary McAllister and when he was brought down by Steve Sutton, Eric Cantona guided the ball in for his first goal in English football. Even then, Luton continued to look dangerous on the breakaway, and Brian Steen was inches away from an unexpected equaliser. But Leeds clinched a two-goal victory with five minutes left to move within two points of Manchester United at the top of the table. John Dreyer failed with the attempted clearance, allowing Lee Chapman to mark his return after injury with a goal. Leeds two.